Hey guys, what is up? It's Ghost Squad 57 here, and today I'm going to record a gameplay and commentary of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Uh, before I begin, I would just like to say that I am playing this on Debian GNU slash Linux testing edition. Um, it runs just fine. Uh, I probably won't be doing a whole lot of commentaries. It depends on my view count for this video. If it gets high and I get a lot of likes and I get a lot of positive feedback, I will definitely do more. Um, anyway, yeah, let's just get started. Let's not waste any time. This is undoubtedly one of my favorite games for Linux. It's definitely one of the highest quality titles out there for it. Alrighty then, get up, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, as you can tell immediately, right from the start, the atmosphere in this game is phenomenal. It really is something else. Uh, they did a very good job with the detail and just everything looks really fantastic. Uh, this is a tender box. Um, you can see how many of them you have by opening the inventory. You open the inventory with the tab key. Here's the little counter over here. Uh, tinder boxes are used to light candles and stuff like that. Like right here, for example, you just aim at it, left click, and it uses a tinder box to light it. Candles are also indestructible, so that's very useful. One very uh, interesting aspect of Amnesia is just the way you play it. It's not really like any other game, really, because uh, in Amnesia, instead of just clicking on in clicking on an item to use it, you actually left-click to use the mouse to interact with said object. Like, for example, I want to take this helmet off, I would left-click on it and then pull my mouse, you see? So it's actually very interactive. Same thing goes for doors. If I want to shut a door, I would left click on it, move my mouse right or left. It's very uh, unique. It adds a lot to the gameplay. Also makes throwing stuff fun. <laughs> Don't know why, I just love throwing stuff in this game. It's very satisfying. Let me shut this door. It's open. The game uh, starts out more or less like a cliche horror movie. Uh, you know, there's like, there's wind blowing and you hear like noises, you know, so it's, eh, it's a little cliche at first, but it definitely gets more scarier as the game goes on. Um, for me, it's the sewers that are just terrifying. I don't know what it is, but I just hate the sewers. It's a very terrifying level. See what I mean? How the doors creak open like that? It's just funny. What are you looking at? Mm. Ooh, paintings. I wonder what they look like. Oh. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. 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 <laughs> Again, the atmosphere in this game is just amazing. I just really like how, how the light comes through and all that. It's definitely well designed. I wouldn't say that the graphics are groundbreaking, but they definitely, they're definitely good. Uh, they're good enough, really. They're not amazing, they're not bad, they're just good enough. They get the job done. Yeah, I should probably mention uh, sanity. Now, whenever a something unsettling happens, like the door or something like that, you know, or you see a monster, uh, your sanity actually lowers. Like right now, it's a slight headache. That's not too bad. Um, it's very important to keep an eye out on your san sanity. Excuse me. Had to burp. Anyway, uh, as your sanity drains, your character becomes harder to control and it's just more of a pain. Um, you can regain your sanity by either solving puzzles or just staying in the light. Yeah, as, like it says in the hint. Look there. Can't pick it up. And this is where you get the lantern probably the most useful item in the game. Just flipped it. Didn't know it did that. Um, you can open the lantern with F. Or you could just open the inventory with tab and then double click on it, which will turn it on. Although I always use the F key. I don't know I don't know anyone who actually opens the inventory. Um, I just picked up uh, oil, and what you do is you open your inventory and then you double click on it and it refills your little uh, oil over there. Okay, I'm going to skip through this note, but basically it says that uh, your character has drunken and amnesia potion, so he can't, he's basically forgotten everything, and that note was to remind him that you have to go to the basement, I think, and kill Alexander. Ex Alexander, I can't believe I messed up that name. Um, it also tells you that there's a creature haunting you, although in specific words it says a shadow. I messed up that, pulling that lever. That's never happened before. Um, this is definitely one of the more, uh, there are only a few areas like this that are lighted and just safe areas, you know. Uh, I like to call them safe havens. Um, so yeah, basically the whole point of that little, uh, cutscene, I guess you would say, is to, it came as telling us to go down here, but once you go down here, there's actually this flesh wall, and this is basically the first puzzle, well yeah, it is the first puzzle you run into, um, you have to get through it, and at first you don't have anything at your disposal, so you're gonna have to go in the rooms and search. 
um, you're supposed to go there first, hang a right, and it takes you to the laboratory where you find the notes that tell you where to go, but I already know where to go, so I can just bypass it. Save that for the last part. That girl's dead. <laughs> Sorry. She's dead. Yeah, in case you didn't hear, when you climb up the when you step up the ladders, a girl actually like says get away from me. I don't know. Never find her body, so I'm sure it was just a hallucination. <clears throat> this is the archives, as you probably read. Uh, it's definitely a spooky place. These damn bugs keep coming out of nowhere. Some huge ass fucking cockroaches, man. I gotta get some raid max up in this bitch. That note basically tells you about how your main, the, the character you play, uh, went to Africa and leaded some sort of expedition into a ancient temple. I forgot what that note says, so I'm just not going to read it. <laughs> it's not important. I mean, if you want to know the story, then yeah. But I already read through the game, I already played through the game twice and uh, read all the notes. And uh, I must say, the story in this game is actually quite, like intriguing. It'd make a great book. I don't know about a movie, though. Um, this is really part, uh, the part of the part of the game where you start hearing a lot of noises that the monster makes. Very unsettling. Of course, not now, but later in this part of the game. Uh, not much later, actually. Um, and that that note tells you about how Daniel, uh, the main, which is the main character you play, uh, actually got trapped in that temple he went to expedite in. Bad luck, I guess. And I guess this zombie is an illiterate, or this monster is an illiterate bastard because he just threw that book down for no reason. Come on. It's a good book. I mean, it's, um, it's, uh, yeah, I can't read that. Get that out of here. Nothing here except for oil over here. And a tinder box to the left. Let's see here. Ah, oh, I don't need to use oil. Was locked. Hey, I want to play you. Stop that. Oh. Yeah, piano. There's some blood dripping there. Stop, stop dripping blood. Chest at the end of this. Yep, it is. Uh, two tinder boxes and some oil. Fill my oil. Uh. Oh shit! Uh oh. So yeah, uh, what just happened is the whole wall collapsed here and now you are stuck in this area um... there's this note here, this is actually a very important note to the that explains where uh, a very key item in the storyline which is the orb which is what caused this mess I'm not actually going to get it because it's sort of a 
Takes me on like this whole drug trip or shit like that. I just don't feel like going through that right now. Um, so yeah, this puzzle... Oh, wow. There you go. That was not supposed to happen. That was not supposed to break by me tapping on it. <laughs> You're supposed to throw a rock or something heavy at it, or like a chair. That was not supposed to happen. Alright, so that basically tells us to pull all these books as fast as you can. I'll show you how to do it in a second. Let's grab this note. Forgot what that one says. This door is locked, so here. Oil. Uh, let's see. This one. This one. There's only three, so this puzzle isn't too challenging. And then the bookshelf moves. It's definitely cool seeing like secret like uh, passageways like that. Seeing uh, like pulling books and having the bookshelf move to the left. It's very cool. It really adds to the game's sort of uh, 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 creepy atmosphere. Because you know you got to think, why would he have all these like crazy traps and stuff unless he's trying to hide something? Again, don't know what that note means. I don't, know, I don't remember what that note says. I haven't played this game in a while. Yeah. Fucking creep. Monster just destroyed that door. Just fucking kicked that thing right off the hinges. This is actually where you get your first glance of the monster. Oh, damn it. I didn't move fast enough. You couldn't see him. And as you make your way to the exit, you can actually hear, like, voices of him. When I was first playing, this terrified the hell out of me. Yeah, as soon as you exit the area, this red stuff starts growing everywhere. It's gonna hit you. There's no way to avoid it. It always hits you. Which I always thought was kind of cheap. But it doesn't really do any damage, so whatever. Get o I can get over it. Um, right leads you to the laboratory, which we don't have to go in yet. We'll go in this area over here. Now, uh, this area is actually locked, but the whole reason we went through that door over there was to get this key right here. <coughs> now, the main reason we go to the wine cellar is so that we can get the ingredients to the acid that we need to use to burn through the flesh wall. I'm going to ignore that. Way too dark. Yeah, one interesting thing I noticed is sometimes these items are bugged. I mean, look at that. It's it's flipping out. It's kind of funny seeing the items like just break dance like that. Um, I just picked up one of the items needed for the acid. I need to get about three more. That scared a good bit. Out. That scared a good bit out of me too during my first playthrough. It's a safe barrel. Uh, it's safe. Uh, what's over here? Could have sworn there's a tender box over there. At least some oil.
yeah, I always felt like the voice acting in this particular particular level is actually not too good, in my opinion. But aside from uh, this level, the voice acting is pretty pretty solid. It's not great, but it gets the job done. Okay, we're gonna go in this room. Why? Oh, you'll figure out. But I ain't scared of a damn monster. Come on, you son of a bitch. Have a drink, motherfucker. Yeah, so sometimes the whole mouse interaction thing can be a little buggy, but it's not... not enough to where it's annoying. Yeah, now this is actually the first time you can actually see the monster. As soon as you grab this, he actually spawns right there. But it's alright, though, because you can... he just runs around the corner and disappears, so it's nothing too terrifying. At least on the second playthrough. I mean, through the first playthrough, these scripted events do just... Blah, not really scary at all. Um, really, early on, the game is very scripted, and I mean that, like, you go around the corner and the monster just sort of spawns there to scare you, you know what I mean? But later in the game, it's very, uh, the monster is very random. Like, he'll just spawn anywhere and chase you down. You don't really get any hints or anything like that. He's just constantly roaming the level, waiting for you. And, uh, it's, it's very terrifying, the later levels are. I think it becomes incredibly scary during the sewers. That's where I just, like, I had to, like, quit saving, exit the game, because I just got terrified. I didn't sleep for, like, a week. <laughs> um. Did we get all the ingredients? Oh, nope. Son of a... Damn it, I missed one. Oh. I can't believe I missed one. I've never done that before. I forgot all about the, uh... Oh, it's that room, too. Should've got that one third. I should've got... Yeah, I should've got that third. It's a map here. Never really looked at it. Shut the door here. Like this. Oh, uh oh. Oh, 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 shit! Ow. Fucking barrels. Knew they were evil. I had to get up. Oh, 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 okay. Barrel! So, yeah, we gotta grab these rocks and move them. But you can't just drag them, uh, or else it goes, like, really slow. What you're actually supposed to do is, um, while, uh, left-clicking on them, you're supposed to move back and hit the right mouse button. This actually is a, does, like, a strong push, as you can see there. Same thing goes with this left, left-click, and then just back, right mouse. Um, yeah, now we can leave this damn area. No reason to waste the lantern. <laughs> now we go to the library, uh, so we can take all them uh, bottles we got back there, which were the ingredients. Um, all we gotta do is take it to the library, mix them uh, into the pot, which you get at the laboratory. I might have called it the library. <laughs> oh god, I do that sometimes, I don't know why. What? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. Oh crap, my sanity's low. Uh, as you can see, the character, like, it becomes very hard to see, and my character's not really responsive right now. That's because of my sanity being low. As you can see, it's just three dots, which is, like, as low as it can get. I can restore it by, like, lighting this torch here and just sort of sitting here with my lantern on for a bit, but that's boring, so let's just head out. Although it is a little bit hard to play like this and it can be a bit annoying, nothing 
a bit annoying not being able to see things properly. Alright. Just light everything just so my sanity can regain. Uh, I think there's another. Oh, there it is. Um, this is actually a teaser for one of the monsters you're about to fight. The water one. Well, not really fight, but, you know, run away from. Like a golly, man. Oh, crap. My sanity is low again. Jeez, I gotta be careful. See now, uh, you, as I said, you were supposed to come to the laboratory first, and that cutscene there was actually supposed to tell you the ingredients you're supposed to get. And this does too, this note tells you what uh, ingredients you're supposed to get for the acid. But I already went ahead and did all that early. So now we can just add it all. Let's not waste any oil here. Yeah, after you put the third one in, the stairs actually collapse. Yep, no biggie. <laughs> and boom. Acid. Oh, but that's good. Now we're supposed to take this pallet here. There we go, adjusted right there. See you later, bitches. Now let's go kill some flesh. Before it kills me. Haha, <laughs> bitches. I ran ya. Um, and there we go. That is the, this is the ending of my little Amnesia Let's Play. Uh, this won't, I will do another video if it gets enough views. I, I might play through the whole game, but it all depends how many views it gets, you know. Uh, be sure to leave feedback. You don't really just have to upvote and subscribe, just tell in the comments how you felt about the video, where I need to improve, what I'm doing correct. Uh, but for now, Ghost Squad 57, signing out.